Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you is new here, what is up? Okay, if you're not new, welcome on back. You know the drill. You know the drill, okay? Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. First things first on the menu. Um, it seems like we got Ice Spice, okay? Ice Spice, she dropped a new song called Fart, okay? Um, and the song is cool, really cute. Um, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a major hit. You know, it doesn't really have that, like, you know, hit factor for me, personally, for me. Uh, I mean, I, I can see it going viral on TikTok, of course. You know, you know, you know TikTok hit, cool. Um, but, you know, she was throwing shots at, you know, the Lottos, um, the Cardis. You know, she was doing her little, you know, everybody everybody feeling froggy right now. So, everybody leaping and jumping and throwing shots. <laughs> okay, my so. Um, so, in this song, Fart, um, she basically was just saying... Um, you my son, Tolado. She told Lotto get up off the floor. Cause as you all may or may not know, she has a song called Put It On The Floor. Um, and then she basically was just like, you know, get up, okay? All right, and then she even said, hard knock life, no Annie. Because in case you all may or may not know, um, Cardi B had a, foot, a, a video of um, Ice Spice performing um, and as her background visual, and Cardi B was performing the Annie Hard Knock Hard Knock Life song. So she basically just clocking Cardi, um, botched ass, and just saying, "Hey, Hard Knock Knife, no Annie." It's like, oh, so I like that. It was cool, cute song. Um, I'm glad she. Everybody, I'm glad everybody putting their dishes out on the flow. I'm glad everybody is just doing what they got to do. Moving on, okay. It seems like people are out here trying to. They're trying to let Nicki Minaj's voice be silenced, okay. Um, they feel like, all right, all the rap beef is silly and dumb, okay? They just mad that all the rap beef was going on. They wanted to stop. She's doing too much. She's going overboard. She's just doing a lot. That is the narrative that's being said, okay? That's the narrative, all right? Now, one of these little clowns is Koi fucking Lorette. Koi, you want to be involved so bad. Like, you know you, you know how it be like bitches and stuff? Like, it be drama going on. And that one bitch in the back when they get rowdy, bitch, sit the fuck down. Sit down. You getting rowdy for what? You, you, no, no, nobody's checking for you or calling for you. You want to be added in the conversation so fucking bad. So bad. So bad. Okay? Um. So she said that the, like, that this is and the rap beef is all lame and it's all just uncalled for and it's pointless. Wasn't you just having fake beef with Lotto over uh, like a song? Okay, wasn't you having? Wasn't you just having fake beef over Lotto over that um, body blunt biggest coil array? Wasn't you just having a whole like the back over that? Like, let's not be like delusional because it's Nicki involved. Okay, and the thing about me, like I said yesterday, when it's a rap beef, nothing is nothing goes nothing is too far. Not, as long as it's on a track and it's on a beat and it's on a song, nothing is too far. It's rap. Okay. Like I always say, these men be doing the same thing. These men be dissing people's dads, dead mothers, dead grandmothers. Um, they be saying, I'ma find your grandmother and shoot her in her titty. Like they be saying all that type of stuff. Like it's like it's it gets they get down, okay? Um, they be like, Oh, I'ma put some rounds in your mother house. Like they be doing that down, okay? Why when it's Nikki and you know all these ladies is too much? I don't think that it's too much. I think that you just y'all are just so used to the little silly like debacle, but then when it really turns into real rap beef, then y'all don't know how to handle it because you never, you never really like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's my personal opinion. Okay, so Cole Ray to me needs to sit the fuck down. Cole Ray, what are you doing? Okay, what are, what are you doing? Like no, 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 no. Like off on some real shit. We need to get you a task because you just be existing for real, Koi. No shit. I'm not. I'm gonna be real with you. No shit. Okay, let's move on to this next topic. All right. All right, y'all. Moving on to my girl Halle Bailey. Um, Halle Bailey actually got herself um, nine NAACP um, nominations. So congratulations to Halle for that, okay? This is a big deal. Halle's been having a great year when it comes to music, okay? Um, she's been having a great year, okay? And that's just a fact. Um, the Little Mermaid, okay? The Color Purple. Like, she's been doing her big one back to back to back. Okay, and I feel like you know, 2024 is the year for her to come back to music. Yeah, you did your big one with the film. Yeah, you did your big one with the movies. But I want to see her ass on the, on the studio. So that's big. Nine nominations is crazy. Okay, that's just insane. Like nine. I don't think I understand. Like you know, nine nominations for one single award, like award show. That's just insane. That's insane. Uh, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. Holly, keep doing your big one. Keep doing what you gotta do. Um, yeah, I'm so proud of you. I'm sure she's going to win at least majority of these. You know, I'm sure she's going to win. You know, her talent is just, is there. But, you know, this is all This is all just the beginning. Okay, this is all just the beginning. Okay, these roles that she just got booked is going to set her career up for so much success. 
It's insane. Let's move on to this next topic. Piss by Megan Thee Stallion simultaneously charts in the top five on U.S. Apple Music and iTunes songs chart, okay? So Megan is up here, all right, doing these numbers. Megan is currently the highest charting rapper on the U.S. iTunes at the time of this recording, okay? Wow, okay. So Piss is doing good, allegedly, okay? Piss is doing amazing, all right? Um, But it's sad that Piss can't do well without all this drama. Okay, I guarantee you, if she did not diss people in the songs, this this shit would have went double cardboard and fucking plastic. Okay, it just would have, cause nobody cares about her anymore. No shade, nobody cares about her anymore. Um, so the only reason why this song is making noise is not because it's Megan, not because the strength of her rapping abilities, not because the strength of the song is just so good. No, the song will die out by the end of the week. Uh, yeah. It will. The song will die out by the end of the week. The song will fall off by the end of the week. The song will no longer. It's just not going to go anywhere. It's not a mainstream sounding hit. It's not. It's just you waste. She even did a music video for it. Wasted. Wasted the, her budget. Okay. On a um a this a sorry ass this. What, what even was this song? I can't even like put my finger on it. Like you on this song hissing and pissing. Like you you hissing and pissing on the song. I don't know. Um, now this is I guess this is good. The hotties are um celebrating, but the hotties need to be buying because the hotties don't buy shit. And it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, all right? Because you know, eventually these budgets of the music videos is gonna start going <laughs> the quality is just gonna start going downhill. And I say that because if you don't support your artist, your artist is not gonna grow and, and just evolve. Okay, so yeah, that's it, that's it. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to Miss Clayco, okay. Um, Miss Clayco, she is currently um, the talk of the town because she's just dropped a song with J-Ho, okay? Um, now, J-Lo, she just dropped a new... Well, actually, no. It's not, it's not a new song, okay? It was a remix of a J-Lo song. The song is corny as fuck. I'm sorry. Um, song is corny down. I'm just gonna be real with you. It's just corny. Um, and we basically have a lot up here as a feature, okay? And I don't know, I just, it, it just, to me, y'all y'all know, the real ones who watch, you you know how I feel about Lotto always being on a collaboration. Like, where's your solo music? Y'all know how I feel about that. Y'all know I always bring that up, okay? I don't know how I feel about that. It just, to me, why can't you stand alone? Like, oh, I know why you can't stand alone, because the song gonna get like four or five streams. You know, the song gonna get like, what, two streams and maybe a, and maybe a legal download, you know what I'm saying? But... I just personally think that this J-Lo song and remix, it's not, um, it's just oil and water. It's not mixing for me at all. But hey, I don't know. Maybe this is going to help um, Lotto's career. Maybe like, maybe Lotto's going to go up into like the sky. Like, maybe this maybe this feature is going to take her up to the moon. I mean, but if Mariah Carey can't do it, if Jungkook from BTS can't do it, if Cardi B can't do it, if Christina Aguilera can't do it. But I don't know who can. I'm, I'm so, I don't I don't know who can. But hey, y'all, let's move on to this next topic. All right. Okay, Doja Cat. I see you doing your big one as well. You know, the rap girls, they just been doing their big one. Now, Doja Cat was the best selling female rapper by total album units in the US in 2023. Okay. Um, so that's that's crazy. And in case you all are wondering, that is all of Doja Cat's albums like combined. Okay, all her albums combined, plus Scarlet, plus all that. Yeah, everything combined. She was the best-selling um, female rap um, artist for having the most, you know, units sold for an album. You know, now people are saying, wait, didn't Pink Friday two have the best, you know, album units for? Yeah, yes, it did, but that's not accounting for all of Nicki's catalog. You know, this is this is accounting for all of Doja Cat's album catalog units so um i know there was some confusion i saw earlier people like wait well what happened what happened yeah that's basically what happened so congrats to um doja kitty um congrats 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 um yeah all right let's move on to this next topic moving on to sweetie y'all okay sweetie she just recently um did 10 million yes not 10 million views okay not 10 million fucking streams and definitely not 10 million dollars all right all right. Now, Sweetie has now surpassed 10 million total RIA song units with new certifications. Um, Best Friend went four times platinum. My Type went four times platinum. And Ice Girl went two times platinum. Okay. So these records are adding up. Okay. But the sad thing about these records, Sweetie, is that all these songs are at least four years old. Well, no, three years old. Okay. Um, that's, it's not a problem, but like, you know, Sweetie kind of had, I think Sweetie kind of is over with the music thing. You know, 
I mean, I don't, I don't know if she's over it. I don't know if she's came to the conclusion yet. But, you know, it's kind of really like, you know, it, it kind of, it's a done deal at this point. You know, unless she has some Beyonce feature. But, you know, congratulations. Congratulations. That's all I can say at this point, people. Congratulations. But um, I hope she don't take this as a sign to drop an album. Uh, all right, y'all. That's all I got for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell so you can get an alert every single time I post a new video. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Be safe.